Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle Community Created Content. The map we are playing is called the Fourth Dimension, and I believe this is the fifth episode. Well, I mean, it's the sixth episode, but it's episode five. If that makes any sense, because the first episode is episode zero. So, we are here in Enemy Mine. And we're, we're trying to figure this out. I think it has an idea to do with the mine, but we want to set it up so that the mine doesn't, like, trap itself. The thing is, I'm not really sure of the best way to accomplish that goal, because the mine's path is not very convenient for us. Like, as soon as he walks on this button, he traps himself, he can't get out. He just will bounce against this forever and ever and ever. And when that happens... Let's see, what happens when red is active but not blue? When that happens, we'll be in that little spot right there, and we will have no way to get out or complete the puzzle. We will be trapped. Trapped, I say. That is a bad thing to have happen. The thing is, to even get in here, we have to put the jammer here. And, like, there's, like, a speed or any trick you can do where you get, like, right up exactly on there, but that's cheating. That's not how you're supposed to solve puzzles. And I don't know what these are for. That is by far the most confusing thing for me. This will prevent him from getting trapped in this direction. Oh, nope, he's gonna go get him trapped. Get himself trapped! Ah, oh, no! No, why did I do that? Ah, oh, I gotta do this whole puzzle again. Get in there. Get in there and stay in there, you jerk. Jam the moon. Jam the moon! Can't jam the moon. I guess nobody's on it. Nope, nope, he's going the wrong direction. Ah, 
Ah, what did I do that for? I'm supposed to wait another bounce. Okay, that works. Awesome, good. Okay, we've got all three connectors again. Let's get this jerk back into his home. You, sir, go to timeout and stay there. I'll tell you when your timeout's over. Alright. So I think... How did I have this set up? I was gonna try something, right? Of course. Of course he is. At least I can get this to maybe be at an angle where... ...trapping himself will... No, it's just no way or he's gonna overlap the beam. It doesn't... it's not gonna work. the red, it alternates the blue. We still gotta eventually get the blue to do its thing, right? Let me get the red to do its thing. But w once the red activates, we we need the red to deactivate, too. Oh my gosh! How do I do this? to get past that barrier to here, but then this barrier will be on. And by that time, he'll have trapped himself, and he won't be able to turn the blue laser back on to stop the red light and switch this off so that we can get there. How do we do this? I don't understand. <laughs>
Oh. Oh. That would actually make a lot of sense. Take a look at this. Blue. Bounce. Red. Bounce. I think we've done it. Better work. Yes! Awesome. That's why this window was blocked up, because you only needed this one. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy, uh... Whoa, why was he beeping so loud? Okay. There, he's trapped again. Alright, good. We're good. We're good, 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 good. Whew! <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out. <laughs> it looks like... All we have left are the macro puzzles. Lovely. Eclipse. <laughs> that sounds quite scary. This is shaped differently. Uh oh. What? <laughs> no. Wait, what the heck am I looking at? Oh no. That's red and this is blue. That's blue and this is So the eagle nests are here just to help you get a better aim. We've got the two jammers again. The mines aren't... Oh my gosh, there's... there's three mines. And there's a connector in there. How... is this supposed to work? Hollow on the inside? That's a cool detail. Look at that. You can actually see down the throat.
I don't feel ready to tackle this right now. I want to go to that other puzzle right now. The one called 123. Oh, by the way, we can walk on this side as well. Interesting. Let's get- oop, oop, come on. Don't miss the stairs, let's get in here. Blue. Alright. One, two, three, huh? I like how, because they're next to each other, it looks like the barrier just slides through the wall. That's kind of cool, but it's completely coincidental. It's just the way the animation works. Doesn't it kind of almost look like it's stretching the texture? I don't know. Bar bar. That's weird. Uh, what did that do? What did that do? Set. Obviously, I'm doing it in the wrong order. Ah, uh, no, I did it in the wrong order again. Let's see, we'll try this. This. Oh my gosh, there's ones in here as well? If you want them to show you the truth, you have to turn them first. Oh no! There's... One... Two... Three...
for... Seven, eight. No, wait, no, wait. This one's less than that other one, right? Oh, wait, there's stuff in. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. What? Let's see, so we've got one, two, three in there. Right here. Five. Six. Then, where is... No, that's... Oh my gosh, I think it's way over there. That's seven over there. And then... Then we have... Eight... Nine... Wait, what? But... What does the N mean? I thought the N meant five, but... This is also five, what? I am thoroughly confused right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hit the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!